All right, so we finally made it back home and we've got something pretty intense happening in this garage now. <laughs> What's going on everyone? Welcome back. So as you probably already saw, we're going to be looking at something very special today. And I'm not replacing either one of these, but I might be adding something to the stable. So let's check it out. All right, we're going to go ahead and hop in the Subi and then we're going to go ahead and head south and check it out real quick. I'm not taking the 92 just because the weather is still a little sketchy as you see a little speckles of white stuff on the ground. So let's head out. All right, so we're on our way to go check this out. There's a couple reasons why I'm going to go look at it. First of all, it's something I've always wanted. So we're going to go look at it and kind of see, you know, the condition and the history behind it. And I know who owns it, so I have a pretty good feeling about that. But most importantly, this will also open doors to more opportunities for Mashimara. Hopefully other things that I can provide for you guys. So it branches out into a different tier. Hint, hint. So uh, we're almost there. Once I get there, I'm going to take a look at it, drive it. And uh, yeah, pretty excited. You guys will pretty much be the first to see exactly what it is. And I hope, I'm very hopeful that it turns out the way that I want it to turn out. And so I can get it. All right, so I just got here, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna check it out. It's right over there. I can see it right now, so I wanna go ahead and show you guys, and I'm so anxious and so excited to finally give you guys the first sneak peek. Here we go. All right. We're going, we're going, we're going. You ready? There it is. There it is. It's an E92 M3 and it's painted Santorini blue. It's not a vinyl wrap. That is Santorini blue. Authentic. Some of you guys might recognize this car actually. And like I said, my friend owned it, and he was selling it, so. Tell me that's not sick. So it's on BBS wheels. Those are actually uh, quite rare, and I'll talk more about all the stuff that's on it. But for now, I just want to show you guys what it is, what it looks like, and reveal it, so. Just give you an idea. So it's got the V2 steering wheel, it's DCT, which I want to try. Carbon trim, all these kinds of things. I know I'm gonna go ahead and actually touch up some of the stuff, refinish it, and do some things. A lot of work to be done that I wanna do. Even like the holes that are in the trunk and stuff like that. But this is it. I'm so excited. And I can't tell you how stoked I am about this. I've always wanted the S65. I've always wanted this M3 forever. And I finally, finally, finally found, not only found one, because there's a lot out there, but I found one that I wanted. And my friend is a really good tech and he's been taking care of it. So I wanted to go ahead and take advantage of it and get it. So here we are. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and just take it for a quick drive. I wanna see how it runs and how it is before I buy it. And if it checks okay, we're gonna take it home. All right, so we're in the car. Looks pretty good, I just started it up, no issues. Um, might need just to recharge the battery because it might have been sitting for a little bit, but overall, it's, um, it's pretty good. Just needs a little touch up, maybe a detail. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and do a couple things with the interior just to make it look better and new. But so far so good. So let's go ahead and I guess try it out, see how well it drives. All right. And I've always wanted the S65 just because of the way that it, it feels and sounds and the amount of just, just a high revving engine itself. I'm not really gonna do anything right now. I just wanna test to see how 
it sounds and most importantly just how it feels overall. Make sure everything works. It's actually quite smooth. It's a lot smoother than my car. <laughs> It's got DCT, so it's a really smooth tra transmission. It's got the paddles, got the electronic steering wheel and everything, so that's really nice. I'm also quite, not afraid, but just weary because the tires are pretty bald and they're running on uh, R888s, so. That the suspension had a little bit of like creaking because they're, they're a little bit older KWV3s, but they seem to be fine. It's actually a lot better than I thought. And it's got the stock exhaust on right now, so it's pretty, pretty tame, which is nice. Just a fresh, fresh new car, pretty not new car, but just a fresh, clean slate to start everything off. And I think the big thing about this car right now is that rod bearings are done, throttle actuators are done, so maintenance is pretty, pretty much as clean as can be. And there's a couple other things that are done, so it's really nice. My goal is to pretty much bring this to as much of a, a brand new factory car as much as possible and just uh, just really enjoy it. Just like that. All right, so I finally finished driving it. It is, like I said, it runs amazing. And I'm, I'm so pumped about it. I talked to him. I got all the paperwork done. We're gonna take this bad boy home. Yeah, there she is. We're gonna go ahead and head home and truck our way through all this. So, uh, see you soon. Dude, this thing looks so good. Uh... All right, we're making a quick pit stop. We're gonna go ahead and fill it up with gas before we head on home, so. There we are. Huh? Oh yeah, you want everything turned off. There you go. Finally made it back home, and we've got something pretty intense happening in this garage now. <laughs> I think I have a problem, but it's a good problem, right? I mean, they look happy together. You know, they've got old, uh, technically older brother younger sibling, but older brother, but has been in the household longer kind of situations. So anyways, here's what we've got going on. So this is, this is it boys and girls. I don't want to, I don't want to do what I've done to this, to this. I'm actually going to go ahead and reverse most of it. So this is coming off. All that's coming off. I'm going back to like pretty much stock ZZP wheels. I'm going to keep it simple. I'm gonna get it detailed, some things repainted. The goal for this is I wanna have it to be like a collector's car versus like stupid race car. You know what I mean? So we're gonna go ahead and make this simple. I'm gonna to touch up everything that you see here, remove decals, 
stock wheels. I want it to be like clean because I, I want it just to, I want a fresh start, you know what I mean? And I probably won't even do too much to it. The only thing that I want to touch is probably the exhaust just because I want to try and test it. So hopefully that gives you an idea. But that's, that's about it. I want to go ahead and just really make it just one happy family. Look at that. I may try and put these wheels in here. I don't know, but I need I need more room. I'm running out of I'm running out of space to put stuff. I I can probably put one thing here. This is kind of what you walk into when you go into my house. <laughs> oh boy. So let me tell you in a nutshell what I'm gonna do with this thing. Um, as I said, I'm gonna keep it clean, just super clean. I want it like practically. Like an OEM Plus. You've heard that term before, OEM Plus. This is what we're gonna do. First things first, wheels and tire. I, I've lo I love these wheels, but I think I'm gonna go to something. I think I want ZZPs, I just want a clean look. All these decals are coming out. Ugh. I don't wanna like hit my car or hit each other. These are all gonna go uh, I'm gonna re-dye all of this. All this beige, white, whatever you wanna call it. I think it's called oyster maybe. All this oyster, I'm gonna re-dye. I'm gonna do a DIY, I'll show you guys, but I'm gonna re-dye these fox red. Yeah, yeah. Santa Rini blue, fox red. That'd be sweet. So I'm gonna do all that. I'm gonna definitely get a complete detail, remove all this stuff that's on here. I'm gonna add my touch to it. I'm gonna try and restore that steering wheel because it's a super awesome steering wheel. It's the V2 electronic, you can see. But I'm just gonna go ahead and just clean this all up and just make it super simple, super OEM plus. And um, you know, I'll add my touch to it, a couple things in the, the gauge and dash and all that stuff. So this is just way too awesome. This is like, this is like my dream, seriously. I didn't think in a million years I would actually have that in like together. I want to thank you guys for making it happen. It's because of all of you, because of Mashumaro, my my customer base, fan, whatever you want to call it, you guys made it happen. It all started with this, which then led to this. And I'm hoping something happens in the near future that can fill <laughs> this spot. <laughs> so but anyways, thank you so much. Stay tuned because I'm gonna do a ton of DIY stuff on this, starting with cleaning, that's gonna happen probably this week. Then I'm gonna go with um, redying some things, fixing some things, adding some things, repairing some things. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure this is OEM plus. So I'll take you through a journey, kind of like rebuilding this M3. Awesome. But until then folks, thank you so much. Hit that subscribe button. Comment below what you think of this and what you guys want to see, most importantly. I appreciate it. Because of you, this has happened again. Peace out.